Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian, a uh, very controversial figure. I mean, I gave him a, a silly intro last week, and people got mad. Um, so I'm just going to say some people love him. Some people really love him. Some people just like him. Ladies and gentlemen, William the Big Red Machine Montgomery. <laughs> Uh, first and foremost, David Lucas, take a couple notes. Hear my first uh, line. Uh, Donnell, I loved you in Spider-Man 2. Whoa! Um, <laughs> funny how unless I'm scared the dust inside my computer is about to call the cops, the weed is too weak. Uh, there is nothing more annoying than a bunch of whining, screaming kids on a plane. That's why I never flew with Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, I was over at Red Band's place the other night, and Red Band, I got a question to ask you. Who designed the glory hole in your bathroom? I was able to see uh, Red Band's uh, oriental wife suck his dick. It was wonderful. Um, remember that time Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin played the guitar with a cello bow? How the fuck did he do that? Uh, uh, would Tracy Chapman be the first known they in music history? All right. You got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Okay, William Montgomery, everybody. There we go. Oh. Duck Quit taking tales. fucking it's pictures. It's from DuckTales. It's DuckTales. DuckTales. Quit taking everybody pictures, Everybody knows the song. It's the song from DuckTales. It's DuckTales. DuckTales. Everybody Duck wants to. DuckTales. It's uh, now my theme song. You are so sweet to have played that. A lot of people don't know that DuckTales is the official theme song of William Montgomery. Of Black Lives Matter. Oh, my goodness. Is that true? Donnell, can you corroborate that? Uh, shout out to George Floyd. That's all I want to say. That's it. Absolutely. What'd you say? <laughs> no, I literally, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? He said shout out to George Floyd. Oh, okay. Black Lives Matter. That, there you go. The DuckTales song I heard was the theme song. Was I mistaken? Nope. William, how you doing this week, William? I've been better. I'm looking for a job still. Yeah? How's that going? How are you, what are you doing to look for a job exactly? I have been going to the local YMCA and swimming laps. Uh-huh. How about the job part? <laughs> no, literally. I mean, I've been going to the YMCA. I'm swimming laps. Nobody's allowed in the YMCA. I'm... Mm. No, but really, I've not. I haven't been looking for a job. So, Donnell, do you have one for me? Uh, <laughs> nope. Okay, fair enough. Maybe you could build some ukuleles or some shit. Maybe I could what? Build some I'm ukuleles. I'm not going to keep doing that. It's a ZipRecruiter. Uh, dot yeah, it was hard to understand. No, what you say? William, that's you're going in a bad place. You did a good job. Go chop some wood. Okay, I know. I'm kidding. Donnell, I'm kidding. I'm on edge tonight. He's no, we're still doing protests, nigga. I don't know if you're serious or not. No, I'm kidding. My peers almost died in the tornadoes last night in Tennessee. Is that true? Did, was there yep. A, I've they... never felt sorry for a white person in a tornado. Come <laughs> on. My parents bought that house 20 years ago. Is that true? Did the tornado? Yeah, they bought it 20 years ago. Did the tornado hit near where they live? Yeah, it broke down the house. What, what, what broke down about the house? There was a tornado. What was that dumb little song you were about to play? That was the sound of a tornado. Play it again. Yeah, play that again. That was really helping. That's a tornado siren. Warning, yeah. Ooh. That's a tornado warning? Yeah. No, All but yeah, last Ohio night it was... Know that that's the sound of a tornado warning. Yeah, we know. Oh. We, I had to get in the basement many a times. We had tornado the, drills. Yeah, it was the worst. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The that's worst. fucking crazy. You used to get in the uh, towel closet. Tornadoes, I think, are... Uh, I, I, I would prefer a tornado area than an earthquake So place. what's the rule? You go in your house, you get low, what do you do? Go in the you basement, yeah, you go under to the, the stairs. Place or go in the towel the closet. Or in a hallway. 
Perhaps. Towel closet is normally in the middle of the house. Really? Do you have a towel closet, William? Yeah, just filled with green and blue towels. Never yeah. used. No, what do you mean never used? Who said that? It was Red Band. Red Band, why'd you say that? I take showers, dude. You wear the same shorts every single day. And the zipper's still broken. And it's still oh, broken. God, will Take a look at that, Donnell. Too much information. <laughs> Jesus. You are Take a look at that, Donnell. Black lives still matter. Put your shirt down. <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. My goodness, William. My God. So what are you going to do for a job? Are you running out of money? I am coming up with a new board game. Yeah, what's it going to be called? Uh, it's going to be similar. Tornado Twister. Tornado Twister. How'd like, you know it was going to be called Tornado Twister? I'm genius, bro. I know you tornado motherfucker. How does that game go? It's, it's like a lot Twister. like Battleship. Oh, it is? But it's tornadoes. That's actually a It's good literally idea. just like Battleship, but it's tornadoes. How'd you know that, Donnell? And you I'm sing. Genius, bro. How'd you know that one? I'm a genius. I looked at your body, and I knew it looked like you would may have a game called Tornado Look at my bio? Your body. Oh, my body. I'm not going to keep explaining how I talk, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most condescending shit a white person could do. What did you say? He's very silly. Hold on, what? His yeah. thing is being silly. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. Are you? Great job. I had a real hard week this week. Yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, is that it? Went to McDonald's a couple of days ago. They overcharged me for a Big Mac. How much did they charge you? $10. I should have known before I paid them. <gasps> they said, you yeah, ordered- I paid $10 for a Big Mac. Oh, my goodness. That's like 10. They overcharge me. That's like 10 double cheeseburgers. It's ugh. Yeah. I mean, I don't have 10 bucks. I don't have a job anymore. Then and how the did you motherfuckers at McDonald's charge me $10 for a Big Mac? Did you try to return it? I ate it. Oh, my goodness. William, a lot of anger coming through this week. Clearly, you are going through. Yeah, I'm looking for a job. Times. There's a p- pandemic happening. You lost your job. What's that, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan just dropped his light. There's what a are lo- you drawing over there, dude? <laughs> There's a lot of a uh, lot of wild <laughs> shit happening. That's the first time Ryan J. Ebald has ever lost. Yeah, his that's light. a bad omen. What <laughs> is that? <laughs> that means we have a. Uh, <laughs> we have. Four Donnell, I hate it. What's he drawing? We have four more weeks of summer when a Ryan tornado. J. <laughs> Ryan J's life. Ryan, are you drawing a tornado? Is that how you draw a tornado? <laughs> oh, wait, David, can you get on the uh, can you get on the camera here? Zoom in on Ryan. Let's see that one again, Ryan. Let's Ryan. see you draw a tornado. <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. He's drawing a tornado. Oh my god. <laughs> Clearly, okay, that's enough. Uh, so, uh, William, is there uh, is there anything else that we should know about before we let you go tonight? Uh, I illegally went to a movie this past week. You went I, to an actual movie theater? Yup. Did you... Were they open? Yeah, they were open. What'd you see? A Tarzan movie. Did you play the movie yourself? Were you the projectionist? No, they were somebody else. It was a Tarzan movie. I ate some sweet tarts, and they really hurt my tongue. <laughs> oh, boy. Donnell, you told me to say that one. I didn't. I'm just it didn't wait. work out. With I just want to see the later. final product of the tornado um, sketch. I want to see it too. Can you do perhaps? Perhaps we could close your set this week with it with an impression of you in a tornado. Can you show us? Can you put the mic in the mic stand and show us what you would look like if you were outside during a tornado? There's the sirens are happening. David's on the camera. Let's see. Oh, he's he's going poop. Everybody. Here's as <laughs> though. He's shitting his pants first. He's very scared. Hold on, Bob! Get the towel closet! <laughs> oh. Wow, that's a callback to that towel closet reference from a few minutes ago. My goodness. What if the tornado is literally, like, happening right now? Don't encourage. That was the worst tornado impression I've ever heard. What do you mean, life. Donnell? Let's say you're not in a house, right? You're outside in Out a, in a field, field. In a field, and there's a tornado going over you right now. <laughs> there's a tornado. <laughs> Hold on, Bob! Get out of the field! <laughs> what? Hold on, Bob! Get out of the field! No, your mom's not in the field. You're in a field all by yourself. And action. Here we go, big tornado. Hey, Lucas, get out of the field! No, nobody's in the field with you. You're by yourself, so you can't just yell at somebody. And the Black Lives Matter protest is coming right down the street of the tornado right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Hold on, what are y'all doing on the street? 
All right. That's what he would say at a Black Lives Matter rally <laughs> with what are y'all doing coming down the street. In Bethel, in Bethel. Go to Cincinnati <laughs> with that tornado. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, another very fun, silly week for with William Montgomery, everybody. Oh. It's in your head. All right, we're having fun here. Hey, look, one of the regulars is here. A lot of people say he is the most beloved person ever. A lot of people absolutely want to murder him on sight. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the Big Red Machine. The Red Dead Revolver. The Redhead Red Dead with Redemption. the Bread Shed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Lights Out, William Montgomery. <laughs> Y'all, I wrote this set when I was in New York City last week. I was about to perform at Showtime at the Apollo. Bunch of blacks. Spoiler alert. Um, Smashing Pumpkins is a cool band name. If I named my band after my high school hijinks, we'd call ourselves shooting schools. <laughs> I miss the old weather channel. Show me some lo-fi graphics accompanied by elevator jazz. Now you've got World's Strangest Weather and shit as programming. Bitch, I got YouTube. Hey, Red Band, when you receive a gallon of Nugenics in the mail, don't blame me, queer. That's a testosterone joke. Red Band is pretty much a bitch. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, are you going to really look at me that way, Red Band? Wow. William closing on a joke calling Red Band a bitch. That is not an angle very much used on Red Band. When I saw Red Band, I was at his place three nights ago. I was at his glory. I would never let you at my house, you I fucker. I was in his no, glory hole in his bathroom. No, I would you at my house you annoy the fuck out I of me. I saw his orny, oriental uh, oh, you know, Are you going to use dad. another racist term from the 90s, you fuck? Wow. This are you story. really no, no, say that, are you calling my you girlfriend said I can Are you calling watch. my girlfriend Oriental bitch? You said I could watch. Oh, Red Band's Red Band's walking over there. David, are you on camera? You think I'm a bitch? David. You think I'm a fucking bitch? <laughs> You're gonna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. We were friends the other night. We were friends the other night. This is great. I watched his Chinese girlfriend suck his dick. Right now, they're like blood brothers, but like with COVID instead of blood. And some uh, bubblicious bubblegum? The Corona Bronas, William and Red Band. The bubblish. Hey, Red Band, oh. I did send you the new Gen X. Oh, he's about to get his pistol. Oh, Red oh, no, Band. No, he's cleaning. Y'all are in for a treat. This is about to be on Live Leak. Red Band, Red Band how... is about to murder me. Red Band, that's not how things work. <laughs> William, William, William. Let's talk about your set a little bit here. Um, what set? I didn't was, see anything. There was some really. You would say that bit, William. You had some really great jokes in your set. I really like the what smashing pumpkin. What was your favorite? I really like the Smashing Pumpkins <laughs> school shooter joke. It was very, very good, very well written, very in your style, in your voice, well paced, well timed out, and got a big laugh. How's this week been going for you? It's been pretty good. I am now a salesperson. Uh, a singles person? No, a salesperson a sales for person. the board game Jumanji. I've been playing a bunch of board games. Uh, try to get that die out of my hands because you're not going to be able to. I'm playing Jumanji tonight. Jumanji? Jum I'm playing Jumanji <laughs> tonight. Okay, Brian. Whoa. Red Band is very mad at you for calling his Oriental girlfriend Oriental. This is really interesting. <laughs> he is mad I saw her suck his penis Two nights ago in his fucking shower. You and I think all the listeners want to know. Where did you see this at? He, he just, in he's his not allowed at my house. Me and David hang out and have barbecues all the time. I won't let him in my house. Hold my on. girlfriend doesn't like him. He stuck his penis. It looks a lot like mine. How did you, you weren't in his house, correct? Were you? In I his was house? in his bathroom. I saw his thing. 
come through the hole what did very it look slow. Like? What did this thing look like? Sort of like a squirrel uh, a grabbing on five. to a pecan. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. What did it look Hold like? Hold on, who messed my joke up? Who said that? It, was, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what I'm did, kidding, what, I love you. William, what did you say that it looked like? It looked like when Red Band stuck his penis through the shower hole and his Oreo okay. girlfriend Forget was it. bending over. It looked like a squirrel holding on to peanuts. A squirrel holding on to peanuts? A squirrel holding on to peanuts. And I didn't know what, what to do. What noise does a squirrel make? Okay. It, I heard a bunch of that. William, ah! you're really good at making animal noises. Can you do a cow? Ugh. How about a horse? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's what a horse says? What else? Give me more animals. Okay. A uh, skunk. Ah! All right. How about a walrus? Here he is. Wait, that's an Australian person. It's an English, uh, English person going to the match. Okay. Happy years. How about a dolphin? What noise does a dolphin make? Flipper. Okay. This is really, this is really gone downhill fast. All right. One, I don't think it has. One has last, it? One last one. Do an impression. Allie, get my bag. Do an impression of a dog. I'm going to lose the fucking caboose. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. Allie, what do you think about uh, William's style and delivery? You know, I love William. Um, how long were you the regular? I feel like, how long were you doing it? I've regular. now been doing it a year and seven months. She's longer than you. She, I don't remember. It's all a blur. I'm wondering, I have a random question. Would you ever replace Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas? <sighs> Yes, last time I heard he was a part of Queen. <laughs> what? Do you like Black Eyed Peas? I like when Will I Am sings the Bohemian Rhapsody song and I just get into it and I can't help but think, where is Red Band's Chinese girl group? I want to see her put her lips around his penis. Hey, where's your girlfriend that beats you up, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you show me another bruise every week from you getting hit, you little fucking? Are you fucking with me right no, now? No. Did you read on the news? She's in the hospital. Why? Why? Because she hit herself and then called the cops and said that you did it. She got in a fight with a ghost. Really? Ooh. I'm kidding. That would. I've been watching Relatable. a bunch of Dateline. That is a Dateline line. All right, William, before we let you go, what can we see your impression of a mosquito? Of a what? Mosquito. The bug that flies and sucks the blood of people. Hey, dude, just take your socks off. Could you do an impression of me? Yeah, do one of Allie. Stand a little closer to the goddamn fence. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's an interesting take. Give me another one. Uh, can you do an impression of Red Band? Hold on. I get it. We're up in outer no. space now, but y'all realize I am a dice shooting gambler. Is there any sort of... What's that word again? When you're up in space, is there any gravity in here? Oh, that's a great Brian Redband impression. He put the ice that he was, was going to throw good. at you it back in a cup. Give me yeah, another one. actually pretty good. No, that's it. Okay. There he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, okay. There he is. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's gotten to the point where I only read the obituaries to see if they featured anyone I've killed. Uh, people ask me if there's anything I regret doing during this COVID quarantine. The only thing that comes to mind is that I really wish I hadn't eaten that bat. Uh, who knew the mass Singer would be ahead of its time? <laughs> um, I noticed in the elevator the other day that it had a sign that it only goes up. I asked the lady at the front desk how you get down, and she said 311. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's all I've got right now. There you go. Took you a few seconds yeah. to do it. Yeah. Do a party. Oh, wow. And invited it. everyone you knew. <laughs> hey, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the car that dads would say, thank you for being a friend. Well, you man what a performance my to get things showing? Kick started by William Montgomery, everybody. Yeah. All jokes all the way through. 50 seconds of thunder so and nice lightning. So nice to be here. That was probably your best set ever. That Thank really you so prob- much. That really probably was your best set ever. Josh, did you like that 311 joke? Dude, I you're a big, big 311 fan. Big Willie style. I loved everything except for the 311 joke. What do you mean? That was the my worst best joke. band in the history of bands. I'm White people you. should not not do reggae. I'm telling you, you're wrong about this, Josh. Because you're friends with them. Well, I... Yeah, the bass player. It's it's not a chicken or the egg thing, though. I was a fan of them before I was friends with them. It's 8.16 a.m. Would you wake up for me? What song's that? Is that that's not that that's song. Not, that's Amber. that's not no, that no. song. That's not no, the 311. It was no. a great joke. I just I had friends in high school that loved that band. You'll appreciate this. Have you ever seen them live? No. See, that's uh, that's how I yeah, know. I've seen them live. No, but I do. I just I've don't seen like white twice. people doing reggae. It's it's first of all, it's not a white guy. His name's S. A. Martinez. Oh, he's that okay. is racial profiling. <laughs> he's I'm Latino. Not. The white guy doesn't do the reggae. Yeah, you better time. come original or this. You will get shot. That's not a 311 song. Speaking of... What are you talking that's about? That's not a that fucking is, 311 is, I'm doing song. All, trust me, even though I dislike them, I know a lot of their music. Jesus. Oh, what George. are you doing? William. Why are y'all dressed up like that? William, William, William. You got to okay. chill out a little bit. I, was just, I looked oh. over there. Why are you... William. Why are y'all dressed up like that? William. Okay. There you go. Things get back to normal, Josh. I'm going to take you to your first 311 live concert, and I'm going to watch you become a fan. And I would gonna... go to a 311 concert if it's if it's with you, yep. because we'd have fun. Because could I, we'd could be I come with y'all? Shit. Okay. Fuck okay. Stop You're over talking. Talking. William, now we are connecting right now, through. man. How? It's the first show. How's this happening already? I'm sorry. I mean, I feel we're on a podcast. I'm confused. How? This is like your 700th time on this fucking show. I'm confused right now. How? Because I've been sick as shit. Okay. We, we heard that months ago. Anyway. I'm sick as shit right uh, now. Well, we just heard that. You just said that. I am really sick right now. Yeah, what are your symptoms? Uh, coughing, sneezing, eating a bunch of Reese's peanut butter cups. David Deary, did you check his temperature? What did it no, come he in didn't. At? What did it come in at? 97. Another symptom. No, you didn't, David. W- William. Oh! <laughs> is my thing showing? Oh, yes. my God. Why is your underwear all squiggly wiggly? Like, why is it <laughs> Why is it all kitten caboodle like that? What the fuck, dude? Do y'all see my pubes right now? What? No, your your fupa covers them, thank God. What but... is going on? Come on, on what do you mean? There? I've been working out, Josh. What have you been working out? Your boxers? It's the only thing that looks <laughs> big on you. Working out my boxers? Yeah. Only thing that's big on me? Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> you're so <laughs> weird. <laughs> why, why I don't you, get it. Why are you dressed like you're going to Bonnaroo? Like, what does yeah. that mean? What's Bonnaroo? It's just, you know, your underwear is all disheveled. You're in cargoes. You and... look like the garbage man at Bonnaroo. <laughs> garbage man at Bonnaroo. What's up? My name is uh, Alex Rodriguez. Oh, it, 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 is that your name? Yeah, I'm All the right, garbage man of Bonnaroo. Then you know what? That's what I'll bring you up. If that's your name, then that's what I'll bring you up as. Will now. you please? Arturo Rodriguez. Real? Arturio Rodriguez? Arturio Rodrigo. Arturio. Arturio. Man. Yeah. What ha- what's happened? William, let's talk about your personal life. Let's talk about it long, hard, and deep here. What's been going on? Because you've been, been wildfire lately. I've been eating a bunch of Prano Pups. W- Prano Pups? Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, what is that thing called? It's a hot dog on a stick with bread around it. Corn dog. Yeah, it's a corn dog. A corn dog. Corn dog. I've been eating a bunch of Prano Pups recently. Literally, I have... Um, Are those like tiny corn dogs? No, they're foot. They're a feet. Lo- oh, it's a Jesus. feet long. It's, it's a many, foot long. How many long. How many feet? It's two feet long. Oh, Prano pup. Christ, dude. 
I've been that's eating it. Maybe that's why my belly looks like dust. Oh, my God. That's I not a corn that. dog. That's a corn horse. Am I right, Papa? <laughs> Sometimes I like to pretend like it's, we still have sold out shows. Yeah, that would have gotten <laughs> a big They would have done the wave right there. You <laughs> would have yeah. been like, ah! That would have gone good. Yeah, corn horse. Corn Why hole. is your underwear like that? Can we get to the bottom of that? Yeah. What do you mean the Can design? Can we get to the bottoms of that? What do you mean the design? No, it's like it's like out and in. Josh, he's had his zipper's been yeah. broken on his shorts. My for zipper's about two been broken now, and uh, he wears the shorts every single day. Okay, so. that makes sense. I get it. Yeah, I have pants it. like that. They're comfy, right? They're super comfy. Yeah, I've had them like six years now. David, what are you doing moving around no, like that, you, don't, you bitch? You don't ask questions to okay. people. You're a guest on this show, not the host. I'm right? sorry. You know that, right? I just hate David Deary. So. Oh, my goodness. That's why I brought it up. He's a real bitch. Whoa, Look at those gloves William. on your hands, you f- Whoa, William. William, relax. <laughs> Looks like he's about to go in my butthole, you f- William, is there any is there any truth to you throwing parties lately and the FBI threatening to cut off your water and power? Yeah, I was with uh, Jake Paul two weeks ago. Yeah, what'd and you guys do? We were having sex with guys. Yeah, um, David Deary was there. What's your favorite part? <laughs> Uh, with his rubber gloves on, insert helping inserting my penis into a guy's butthole. This guy's that's such what a David f- does. David guides yeah. the penises into the butthole. He helped guide my penis into a, this guy named Dillard's butthole. Dillard? <laughs> yeah, a guy Dillard. I think he's from South Carolina. Dillard? Yes, Dillard. <laughs> like the department store? Yeah, like the department store. Wow. Was Mervin's there as well? Yeah, Mervin's was there as well. Y'all are Ross. really good at this one. Was Ross there? Yeah, Ross was there. How about there? J.C. Penny? Was J.C. Penny's was Cole? there. Was Cole there? Mr. Cole was not. Circuit City? Circuit City. Oh, you messed that Red one band. up. <laughs> Red Band. What do you mean Circuit City? That's a guy. How's that someone's name? Yeah. He died. I it's like funny. breakfast. I'm that kind of bitch. What can you say? I love it. French Keep Toast Crunch. Doing it. Ordered Keep doing especially it. off the internet. Love it. Keep uh, doing it. I think it's hilarious. I'm your biggest fan. Keep eating cereal. Keep doing... Oh, what the fuck do you know? You're eating two-foot-long corn what dogs. What do you mean I'm eating two-foot-long hot dogs, corn dogs? Corn dogs. What do you mean? It's corn dog. It's pronounced dog. Dogs. <laughs> what do you mean? Corn dogs. I've been eating corn dogs. <laughs> See, it's much better that way. I've been eating corn dogs. What is your diet for real? Are you for real like a water. corn dog guy? <laughs> Uncut watermelon. Uh, hey, what's up, y'all? We are going 50 miles an hour in this thing. I'm eating a corn dog. A what? Corn dog. Doug? Is, is that... Y'all are really messing me up. Can Red Band, why are you looking at me that way? Hey, David, would you help me guide uh, my penis into his bottom? All order? right, William, <laughs> I love today's set. Like we actually said, and we're not kidding, that might be one of your best sets ever. Coronavirus joke, the bat, the masked singer joke, all topical, all well-written, very, very smart, very, very When am funny. I going to get on Comedy Central? When are you going to get me, Josh Adams, Meyer, on your show? What's going on? You, you won't I even show letters. up. I sent you letters. Huh? You won't even show I up. I won't even show up. Two weeks in a row, you weren't even in the room when we called you. Two even yeah, months we, ago. Uh, the real huh? move would be the 500. If you, get, if you can get famous before he hits number one, you could probably <laughs> You have on. seven and a half years, dude. Is that about how long you... Th- <laughs> no. Yeah, May 52? 31st, 2028. Wow. Yeah. I love cool. that. Yeah, so it's going to take a That's while. That's when the end of the world is. What episode, is that day? Episode 500 of Kill Tony is going to be, I believe, in uh, in in April 2021. Really? I think do y'all so. Th- do y'all, wait, do y'all we'll think that. I'll still be here for that? Nope. Nope. Okay. There he goes. The great, the powerful yes. William Montgomery. And if you threw a party. I will always fight for what I believe in, and I fight for this man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's known other than the Big Red Machine, the uh, Tennessee Strangler, the <laughs> King of the Koalas, the great William Montgomery. Jamar, Jamar, they call me the Tennessee Stranglers. First and foremost, for all the fucking haters out there, 
get a load of the set. This is probably going to be one of my best sets. Um, not sure if you all saw this, but there was an international mixtape competition held a couple days ago in Beirut. Uh, the social distancing has really hurt the clown car industry. I uh, was watching American Pie 2 the other day, and apparently there's a deleted scene where they all get AIDS. Uh, when the credits roll, the first 24 names are Jewish. Director, producer, writer, hairdresser, dog handler, the dog. Uh, what's the difference between Antifa and the Houston Astros? Nothing. They both steal signs and come from a hellhole. Wait, who does? Yeah, what was the, that word? The Astros and who? And Antifa. What? Antifa? Antifa is how it's pronounced. They both steal signs and come from a hellhole. Oh yeah, get think about that and feel alright. Everybody now. Okay. William. William. William, what movie were you talking about? Herbie the Love Bug. Okay. And and you saw the credits and it had a Jewish director, writer, producer, hairstylist, dog handler, and and hairdresser. And and dog? Dog. Hairdresser and dog. You mean dog. Dog. What do you mean, dog? <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the animal. Y'all are right. Jamar, do you pronounce it that way? Which one of those jokes were your was like your favorite one? The like, best oh, I, one. The what? The best one. What did I think was the best yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Beirut one is my guess. I think you're gonna go with the Beirut one. What was my favorite joke like, from that wait one? To tell, you couldn't wait to tell it in this set. Which one? Um, Beirut. Was watching American Pie 2 the other day, and apparently there's a deleted scene where they all get AIDS. I was excited about that one. What did you think was going to happen when you said it? I thought they were all going to get sick. When, you, when somebody gets AIDS, they get sick. Actually. Not really. I no. look at Magic Johnson. Yeah. What do you mean Magic Johnson? Who's Magic Johnson? People throw that name around. He's a basketball player. Who is that? He was the first guy. No, hit. seriously. Who's Magic Johnson, Redman? He's a basket. He used to be a basketball player. Now he's uh. The face. Now of AIDS. he's what? The face of AIDS. Face Co of AIDS. Now he's the well, face of a, AIDS. Yeah. Actually, a mosquito is the face of AIDS, yeah. but he's the second face of AIDS. Yeah. Tell me about it, mosquitoes, man. That those things have killed more people than anything else. Like what? Malaria. They carry malaria. Uh huh. What else do they carry? To carry your bags if you're a light traveler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they carry your bags if you're a light traveler? I don't get that one. Shut up! You want to explain that one? Wow, you're very angry tonight. Yeah, I'm angry tonight. Why are you telling me to shut up? Good vibes only. Oh, rudabai. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, rudabai. Rhubarb. Oh, rudabai. Oh, wow. Willing oh, they caught a rag it landed on your beard. What do you mean it landed on my beard? There oh, it is. shit. It just, Hold on. See, that Put your head back. His forehead. Oh. Le oh, go tilt your head to the right. Go to the right. The right. You got the wait, right. Yeah. Wait, go back. That shit. Hold on. Stop moving. Do y'all see that shit? William, move slower. It's right next to your eye, man. Stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. stop. There it is. There it is. What oh. is that? A mosquito soul. There's something like on the light or something. No, it's a mosquito. What do you mean something on the light? Is something wrong with my face? Stay right there. Don't move. Now move a little bit towards Ryan. Listen to my direction. Move your head a little bit towards Ryan. Nope. Don't look at Ryan. Move your head towards Ryan. Nope. <laughs> move your body. My eyes? Here, let's try this. My move, body. Move your body towards Ryan. Nope. Not, not that what way. What do you mean? Like, go that way. Nope, watch me. Don't turn. Just, there. wait, it's right there. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. Do you see it? What the fuck is that? Do you all see that? Damon. It's Do you see that? Nope. William, what did I tell you? Don't move. Stay right there. So your on his put your chin down. It's on his Jamar, get my back on this. Jamar, get my back on this. What are they talking about? 
It's that on mosquito you. soul. <laughs> You gotta go a mosquito soul. <laughs> Damon, yeah. is that in the it's light? It's like a silhouette of a mosquito. Yo, fix your lights, you bitch. <laughs> no, you're not no. allowed to call staff members Jesus. that name. Sorry, okay. Damon. Well, he Fuck. tripped me last night. No, that's a bug. He didn't trip you. Yeah, it, he tripped me last night. Is there a bug night. on the lights, or yeah. is that on his head? It's yeah, what's going on with the lights up there? Oh, that's hilarious. Whose wow. sweet little voice was that? It's flying in the beams. What bitch just said that? William, you can't just call random. I'm stuff. on edge, Tony. I'm sick, man. You know I'm sick right now. I got 104. Oh, God. I got 104. I'm an asymptomatic character, and I've been kissing people. Yeah, who have you kissed lately? David Deary. He's a known. F- oh, my God. William. Look at him. Look at his fingers by his penis. That guy knows what's up. I'm going to be kissing him tonight. No, don't walk that way. All right. Well, William, what's been going on in your personal life? How's your relationship with the girl that hits you? Uh, Last night, honestly, last night she called me uh, her brother, and I started calling her uh, my older sister. Yeah, what's that noise? Was that supposed to help, Red Man? Cool. That was fun. Jamar, would you agree that's funny? He did that fucking noise. Jamar, what do you think about William? Like, just as a whole? Yeah, as a whole. (laughs) I don't know. You want to look at my thing? No, like, sometimes he's annoying, but sometimes he's, like, funny. Yep. No, I agree. <laughs> wow. I think I That's think exactly one, right. I think 100% of people <laughs> would agree with that. Is that it, Jamar? But, that's, but, that's, but that came from Is love. that really what you're going to say? It is so bizarre. I told you that shit every time I see you. I say, I know, and I hear it. Yeah, so then hear it. <laughs> and we're in quarantine. <laughs> My God. What do you do, like, when you're normal? I am skating around the Eastgate uh, shopping mall in Memphis. <laughs> I um, love that. I love that peanut butter colored T-shirt you're wearing. It's so like, in style. It's more of a burnt orange. A lot of people wearing pumpkin pie this time of the year. Pumpkin pie. What did you call it? A peanut butter color? It's more of a... Like, did you really call it that? Yeah, I did. Piece of shit. Would you I, agree with that, Jamar? Um, what would you call this one? Rusted orange? Pumpkin pie. Orange juice left out for a week. (laughs) (laughs) Pumpkin Old Spice. Why are y'all all all teaming up against me tonight? It it looks like you just lost on the floor is lava. (laughs) Why are y'all teaming Uh, up against me? What's going on here? Why is this happening? Look at how weak his knees look. Yeah, you do have. You do have. Have you suffered serious <laughs> knee injuries? What do you mean? I have your strong knees. knees. Like, your knees look like little bitches. Look at Damn. them. Damn. You're getting roasted by knees. the Lance Armstrong of you. What do yours look here. like? Uh, one's broken and it still looks better than those. Well, your faggots. Oriental girlfriend, when she was sucking your okay, dick in the all glory right, hole, all right, her knees know. look good. We're not going to go down this <laughs> road again. Keep going. Your oh. girlfriend looks Oriental because she's crying all the time. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Oh, shit. Thanks. <laughs> Why did that get Damn, that response? Red. Red man what happened up, there? Lit William up. Damn, Red. You just got lit the Why'd you fuck? do that to me, Red man? <laughs> Damn, Red. Why'd you do that to me? Oh, my God. Jamar, I've been thinking about holding the microphone this way. Do you like it? All right. There goes William Montgomery, everybody. There he goes. Good. Another solid week with William. Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to end an episode like this, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All the chaos, all the insanity. Uh, there's only one guy that could put the cherry on top of a cupcake like this. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the big red machine. The one, the only, the great William Montgomery. Here he is. I'm crazy. Um, if someone like Nike comes out with a mask, yeah, we ain't getting a vaccine. <laughs> this is probably one of my best jokes next. Um, I think a fun sketch would be if I moved to Saudi Arabia, became real popular, ran for political office, just was having a good time. My first sort of party where I'm trying to get money from donors. 
I invite uh, them in my front door, and I'm like, hey, uh, go to the backyard. I'm crucifying someone. Uh, Australian hipsters be like, I miss the old Zealand. Uh, hey, Red Man, if you're going to be the best man in my wedding, you're going to have to start believing in Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. There you go. You can always just close if you don't have anything left. I do appreciate that this is the first time I think all of us have seen William do a set completely sober. That is impressive. Yeah. Damn, this is the first time. Wow. In, uh, what's going Never on? again, what huh? Year? Never again. What's Never. going on, William? This is very exciting. What's what? what I don't what, know. What's I just changed feel... in your life this week? I don't know. I just think it dawned on me that I probably uh, will die soon. Yeah, what made you what made you think that? Do you see something in your pee pee? No, poo-poo? just generally speaking, I started having premonitions of my death. What? Yeah, seriously, I started thinking <laughs> did, I'll probably what, die what soon. What type of premonitions did you have? Describe them a little bit more toward for us. I don't know. I just pictured myself because uh, we've been having premonitions about your death for years, <laughs> yeah. now, for like so, a year. Yeah. yeah, no, it just sort of hit me. So we'll. Uh, We'll see. Hopefully, maybe I can stay strong. How we long has it been? It. How long have you been sober for? One day? Uh, I got real drunk last night. <laughs> <laughs> How about before that? I got drunk as hell last night. How about before that? Uh, Were you on a little streak? Or I don't know. Every Wednesday, night? maybe. The Wednesday before, maybe. Oh, okay. So you took a few days off drinking at the end of last week. Correct. Yeah, normally it's, uh, I don't know, two or three times a week, but it's... I go pretty oh, wait, hard. No. Well, that's we, that's yeah. absolutely not. <laughs> two or three times a week for yeah. two or three days at a time. Yeah, yeah, you. Get it to, can be that for sure. And he goes hard though. Like he yeah. he'll yeah. drink like a whole bottle of vodka, not like just uh, yeah. a lot of vodka. Yeah, you not have, great. You, you so have we'll what see. we call a uh, a problem. Correct. <laughs> but do you, I think do you, that's true. Do you feel good? How's this for you tonight? How do you feel? Right I now? love it. You seem way more with it, and yeah, uh, you're very present. You're not yeah, screaming at us. Good. Right, right. That right. was starting to happen a lot. A recently. lot, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just angry and screaming at y'all. I know, I know. That was starting to happen a lot. Yeah, and you were also screaming at employees. You called one of the nicest women here a bitch. After I know. Well, we talked today. Ago. I think it's all right. You Wait. called uh, the sound guy a bitch, I believe, last week. He is you a called, bitch. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that motherfucker. He is a bitch. No. And David, what about David Deary? You were calling him the F word last week. What do you think about yeah, him? Yeah, well, I don't like him either. Oh, my goodness, so. <laughs> David. He gives me At least we know what he really means him. now. Just look at him. Oh, uh, look oh, at that. It, We're zooming what, in on that crotch. Can you lift up the shirt for us? I'm worried my little thing's going to pop out. Oh, you are wearing the same shorts. See, I can feel my pubes. You still have not fixed the shorts, huh? What is going Do on? Do we have to just one Whoa. step at a time? Man. Do we we'll, just have to fix, buy you a pair? Why is that, what's that bruise on your stomach? Oh, it's like, what the fuck? It's like your alcoholism is like your on. fourth worst problem. Wait, is there lean bruise back, on? Lean back. Yeah, lean no, back. Get lean, in the no, stomach. No, lift your shirt yeah, up. you have a bruise on your stomach. Lift your shirt up. And don't don't. This is over. like when they find cancer on a newscaster. Yeah, yeah zoom right. In the, zoom in on that, David. No, William, listen to me. Take Where direction. No, the other way. William, listen to what I'm telling you. Turn your hips that way. Stop. Stop. And don't move again. Now. Okay. There you go. Now zoom in on that, David. That's, it's that's as far as in as we can go. But that's a legit bruise. Yeah, you're bleeding from the inside. Where is it? It's 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 that bruise, right? Your red band's oh, gonna man. come point to it. Circle it. You it? want a sharpie? Here's a sharpie. Circle it. He could have just closed the <laughs> fridge with his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Nazi symbol you just drew on me? <laughs> Did you China draw a swastika on me. All right, David, go back up to his face. Let's That's, see. Do you know how you got that bruise? Any idea? Yeah, I bumped into a table. That's not oh what Jesus! Are you getting <laughs> are you getting abused by your husband, William? Did, did you I just, bumped into a table? Do you, do you, uh, I bumped into a table. It has nothing to do with it. Uh, 
Yeah, I bumped into w- your table. What happened, William? Tell us. This is a compelling episode of Kill Tony. <laughs> we want to know. You could you could be honest with us here. We're we're your family. We're your real family now. Your other family doesn't exist. We've taken them all. Chris, hostage. help me. Chris, help me. Chris, who? Chris, help me. <laughs> is is that Chris? He's named <laughs> Brad, dude. You're referring to That's, Brad. Brad, help me. <laughs> What's up, William? Is Brad? What's up? <laughs> you want a riff? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I th- I I was drunk and I bumped into a table. Oh, now we're we're getting a little bit more. You were drunk and you bumped into a table. Yep. Then what happened? Because tables, William. I'm just going to be honest with you. I honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember. Wow. Yeah. Do you think the bump on your stomach has anything to do with your newfound uh, reasoning to stop drinking? Could be. <laughs> Jesus, I want to. I want to see oh, what no. the fuck happened last night, Shit's man. Serious? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> you got this little glare in your eyes. Wow. <laughs> it does he has that same bug on his forehead from last episode? There's a bug. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. It's, so, William, we'll uh, what else has been happening? This have you been looking for a job again? I have not, but I need a job because I can't get on the unemployment. I haven't been able to hear from the unemployment people. Well, did you reach out to them, or do you think they're just going to contact you? I have been calling them. I can't get through. You've been calling them? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't get through. Are you, is that a joke? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's all you... Well, I did it online. I've already applied for it and everything. I just haven't heard back. When did you apply? A month ago. Really? I've gotten a payment. I got 1700 bucks, but oh. that was like That's a that month is. ago, so I'm worried because I haven't gotten another payment. You have to certify for your weeks online. They send yeah. you an email. Yeah, you have to. That do... was like ba- a back pay <laughs> thing. You're going to have so. to, believe it or not, William, you're going to have to do something to get that. <laughs> right, I agree. i got to figure it out. How, when, uh, how exactly are you going to figure it out? <laughs> you got to figure it out. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? You think like the, the unemployment fairy is just going to show up while you're sleeping? and put I it... don't know. I got to figure it out. All right. We'll see. I just want to add that as Mike Shinoda, I know Jesse in the band, and William also called her a bitch many times. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> wow. And this you is... called my girlfriend an oriental fag uh, last I oh stand my. behind that. This is an intervention right now. It sounds it? like it. Is there any? Is there anyone else here that would? Yeah, like anybody to else? Ryan J. Say something, Ryan mm. J. We've always gotten along pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody else that would like to? Oh, Keel has his hand up. Keel, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, first time. Uh, he's like, I'll do it for a beer. This is my beer. Are you sorry, Eric? And they start calling me a bitch. And all of a sudden, he just got food here. Wow. Yeah. You made someone buy you a beer and then you called them a bitch. Yep. <laughs> Jesus, really. I can tell you this. I can tell yeah. you this. Yes. I have had probably 10 to 12 conversations with William. I promise you, he does not know my name. What is his name? <laughs> that is beautiful. That was a work of art. You are clearly correct. He, de- he definitely does not know your name. He's like, I'm just going to skate through this. Cheers, one. brother. Uh, nice to see you again. <laughs> this is adorable. Sober Williams, like, I the like nicest, it. greatest, yeah. fucking, most, yeah. like, it's a, it's incredible how good of a human being yeah. there is yeah. underneath yeah. that fucking drunk <laughs> demon. I know. Can you're we call like, him? you're like, you have, like, one of the widest ranges of good guy, bad guy yeah. between Perfect. not drinking and drinking. Like, it's hard for me to interview this guy because, like, I'm not used to it. <laughs> right. Like, I don't even know what to, what to do. I hear ya. <laughs> That's every alcoholic that knows he is not actually going to be able to make a change. I hear ya. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike Shinoda. When he's sober, can we call him William Recovery? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and that's tonight's episode, right. everybody. Good job, William. Good luck. William Montgomery. Root him on on social media. Cheers.